Chess friend, how are you? Today, I have an exciting game with a top chess engine, top chess engines are used to analyze chess games on various platforms, there are a total of 21 top chess engines and today, I played against Fat Fritz, who is also a top chess engine, this game is so fascinating, so let's dive in, d4 d5 and we have the Slav defense from black, here you can go with knight f3. Something like bishop f5 queen b3 queen b6 take the pawn on d5 and if black exchanges the queen and takes the knight instead of capturing the pawn, take the pawn and if black becomes greedy, rest the bishop and try to stop the pawn's destination at the same time, you can sacrifice your rook like you are the boss, c7 and pawn promotion is unstoppable, in a sudden move, white seizes control of black's position by employing the knight queen and bishop. And friends like the video now because you are gonna observe something new and special in your life, e3 by me, knight f6 knight f3, rather bringing the bishop he played a6 move, his opening plan is going to expose after he plays e6, locking the bishop in this pawn cage, his idea is to play b5 after capturing on c4, bishop b7, knight d7 and blow up the center with c7, so after castle both side developed their knight to go in a race, black here didn't capture the pawn. He played bishop d6 which is overloading the center for black, for this reason I played e4 to strike in the center immediately, now here is a question for you, which pawn you are gonna take, if you capture the c pawn thereafter takes, bishop needs to move and I will lock the center with e5, knight d5 knight g5, attacking to the h pawn, you may attack to the knight but what about queen h5, it's creating too much pressure in the kingside, castle and knight h7 will attack at your rook. Many of you might think of saving the rook instead of playing b5, then I can sacrifice my bishop which I showcased against Dr. Chess yesterday, if you haven't watched that video then go to my channel and watch my brilliant tactics where I sacrificed my queen, ok, after you capture the bishop, there will be hot tube pressure in the king side, you can play f4, bring out rook and it would bring plus 4 advantages for white, so in this position, our top engine captured the e-pawn and we did a great pieces exchanges. To succeed, jump as quickly at opportunities as you do at conclusions, black pieces are undeveloped which is why my pieces are creating so much attacking possibilities to black, knight f6 and I sacrificed my pawn as a tempo, the reason why I sacrificed my pawn is that I first pushed that pawn, and played knight e5, bishop is coming and if you play castle then knight g4 will create a tactical shot to the rook and queen, Many of you may know this tactic if you are at the level of Grandmaster. Couple of moves later Fritz played bishop c6, and knight to d5 to attack on the pawn, queen h5 attacks to the pawn, and black blocked with g6, now try think like me. What should white play in this position, should he retreat or play attacking move, the answer is very simple, capture the pawn because after takes takes, black king gets stuck in the middle of the board who can be easily targeted by many pieces, here best move for black is capture the pawn, because after you capture the rook, bishop f8 can block the check, now you can't immediately attack on the bishop because black throw ice in your eyes and runs his king out of the way, so in this position. If black dares to play king d7, this move is very annoying because bishop f7 can attack at the pawn system, knight f6 takes here queen f5, bishop f4 is coming to disrupt the queen position, so bishop d7 bishop g5, attacking to the knight, take take rook f8 d5 and that's it, black's position is completely dead lost, he have nothing to withdo unless resigning. Delight in meditation and solitude, compose yourself, be happy, you are a seeker, said by Buddha so we have king d8 bishop f7 to attack on this weakness, black has to play knight f4, he had no other choice, sacrificing the pawn to bring out the rook and attack to the pawn, rather than retreating the queen to defend my position and allow black to give him extra time and move to secure his king position, I played attacking move d5, sacrificing the f2 pawn, king runs bishop e8 as a tempo, queen takes h7 queen h4, offering queen exchange, I said no thank you very much, I have my pass pawn to make an another queen, then you can exchange your queen with that queen, so bishop b5 queen a3 bishop to g5, here you might think of playing rook d1 followed by d6, this move is very passive because the king can run out of the way, yes you can give me a check, and push your d-pawn to threat me that, hey I am gonna promote a new queen, no. You can't promote because it's hard to break the pieces combination of black, 
The king is purely save and do you know a secret in chess, if you practice chess and watch chess videos every day then you can become a professional player at chess, so subscribe my channel and leave your beautiful comment, the video isn't ended here, we have much more up and downwards as we progress in the video, however I always play the best move because I am the chess god, 21 top chess engines are nothing in front of me. e6 by me to weakening the king's side, now I put my rook on d1 because the king can't escape through c7 square, here some of you may think of capturing the pawn, no matter if their king gets exposed in the middle of the board, check bishop, blocks bishop takes rook bishop d5 check, king g7 queen c7 attacks this, the position will be very ugly for black so in this position, black played c5, queen check king e7 g3, kicking out the queen, to play rook e4. Queen c7 is coming and I prepared to launch an attack with h4 at the same time, basically I am attacking left center and right, three side of the board, rook f6 queen check king runs and rather playing a time wastage move and give black. One extra move to defend his position, I played h4, which some of you might think, while that move creates weakness at white's king side of course it creates some weakness at my king side but it threats a strong attacking chance, rook here queen check king g7 king g2, the bishop is under attack which is why we have rook f8, now you shouldn't capture the bishop, because of rook f2 check and queen h2. Your instincts are never wrong, follow your heart and you will succeed every time, so here I played rook g4, because rook f4 can't create problems for my king because he is completely safe in this structure, black tried to challenge my prediction with bishop e2, attacking both of the rooks, that doesn't matter because after queen check, if the king moves to any of these white square, after rook takes bishop, takes check, king h8 takes to play rook h5, so rook f1 queen d4 here check queen to d4. Black can block it with the queen but after rook check here queen g4, rook to g5 and that's it, you are gonna lose your queen and the game quickly. So back to the position, we have queen f6, takes backs and we did a queen exchange in order to push the d-pawn, how can you stop it, rook f1 take take king h2 rook takes e6 followed by d7 rook d6 rook f5, threatening rook f8 and the bishop at the same time, the pass pawn is more important than the ugly bishop, and I have two connected pass pawns which are enough to win the game, amazing game played by Fritz but I am stockfish, nobody on this universe can defeat me. If you have any name then put in the comments. Wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.